All right, guys. So we were just talking about doing our spring illustrations and our spring writing, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to revisit that topic and we're going to make a chart about kind of some things that we think about when we think about spring. So when you guys think about spring, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Flowers. Flowers. Perfect. Do we see a lot of flowers blooming in spring? It's kind of it's kind of when they start to come out. We kind of start to see all the different colors and what's it makes it a little bit more brighter outside, a little bit more enjoyable to go outside. So if we're gonna have our topic be flowers, let's go ahead and draw a chart so we can kind of organize some things about maybe some different types of flowers that we see outside. So let's do kinds of flowers. And what other things would you do to describe flowers? Like if you guys were going to write a paper about them, what else would you want to know? Colors. Colors. All right. And what else would you, let's do maybe one or two more. Maybe we can think about, do they need sunlight or not? Yeah. So are they a sun flower or a shade flower? So we can do sun or shade. And let's think of one last characteristic about flowers that we can use for spring. So we have the kind of flower, the color of flower, if it's going to be a shade or a sunflower, and what else would you what else would you characterize with the flower when you thought about one? Smell. Smell, like if they smell good, like if they're flowers that you're going to want to bring inside, flowers you're going to want to give to your mom, or maybe they're just going to be flowers that we kind of want to leave outside. All right, so I would like you to name, a, name one flower. Daisy. Daisy. And do you both know what a daisy looks like? Describe describe a daisy for me, Claire. It's white. White. And then what color is it in the center? Yellow. It can be. Yellow or brown. And do you think this is a sun or a shade flower? Sun. Sun, they can grow in the sun because don't sometimes, don't we see flowers like out in wild fields and sometimes those fields don't have very many trees or anything to shade them, but they still grow, don't they? Yeah. And if you were to decide that you wanted to bring a flower home to someone, do you think this flower, does, do you know if this flower smells good or bad? No. Does it smell good or bad? Good. You, you, you think daisies smell pleasant? Yeah. Okay. All right, Stephen, what kind of flower? Sunflower. A sunflower. And what do sunflowers look like? They're yellow. And what does this, so there's a yellow flower, and what does it look like in the center? Brown. So, do daisies and sunflowers look similar to each other? Yes. All right, and then do sunflowers need sun or shade? Sun. It kind of goes with the name, doesn't it? And do you think that these flowers smell particularly good? No. No. All right. And the smell is going to be an opinion, not a fact. So when you put, when you're writing, if, if these flowers are good smelling flowers or not good smelling flowers, you have to put in my opinion. You have to make sure that it's something that 
makes your reader know or your targeted audience know that it's not a fact, that it is an opinion. All right, now for the last kind of flower, what, what do you guys want to do for your last kind of flower? Tulip. Tulip. That's a really good, that's a really good one, Claire. Because a lot of people, I think it's in Pella, Iowa, they do a tulip parade, and they have floats, they have all different kinds of tulips on it, and it's a really big attraction for people to go to. What, what color are tulips? Pink. Pink? Can they be other colors, too? Yellow. Yellow. White. White. And maybe a few other various colors. Yeah. Yeah. And do those kind of flowers need sun or shade? Sun. Sun. And do tulips, do you, do you find that they smell good or bad? Good. Good. All right. So right here, we've kind of developed a chart, and our chart kind of tells us, our chart tells us about flowers, but it goes a little bit more specific. So if you decide that you want to, if you want to do your spring paper about flowers, and you write a couple of sentences about flowers, look at each different, look at each one of these sections, and you guys will know daisies. I like daisies, and I think that they smell good. When you say, I think they smell good, that tells your audience that is, a, that is an opinion, not a fact. And then you can say, daisies are yellow, or daisies are white, I'm sorry, and they have a yellow or brown center. So you're kind of describing this flower to someone so they kind of know what it looks like and they know what to expect from it. And you can say, um, for daisies to grow, they need sun. And what else, what else do flowers need to grow? Sun and? Water. 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 And they get their water from when it? Rains. When, when it rains. So when it rains, that's kind of when we see, um, the flowers coming up. April showers bring May flowers, except for now when... April's bringing snow, so our May flowers may be a little delayed. Um, but then you guys can go through each different section here, and you guys can see that you can write a whole couple of sentences with just one, with just one topic. And this organizes your information, so it's going to be easier to understand, and it's going to be easier for you guys to kind of lay your paper out. So I would like you guys to go ahead and um, maybe think of a couple flowers on your own and kind of develop different things. You guys can add topics. You can subtract topics. But we can start, go ahead and just start with these four categories. Maybe pick one or two flowers and fill that out and then write a couple sentences about them. All right? Okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. Thanks, guys.